Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Good morning. Good Sunday morning to you. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bay. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to uh, welcome all those that are uh, listening and uh, uh, or, or watching by audio or video. Amen. We want to welcome you and just say we love you. We appreciate you. And we've been gone for a few days, for a few days, yeah, a few weeks. But anyway, it's good to be back. Amen. So praise God. And uh, we want you to do is uh, get, make yourself at home and listen to what God has for you. Amen. Don't never say he does nothing for you. He's got something for you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And today we're going to be talking about giving thanks. Amen. Amen. Uh, I was telling the congregation here, uh, I had a different message. And God says, change that. I want you to talk about giving thanks. Amen. And this is something that we must do on a daily basis. Just give him thanks. You got nothing else to say. Just stop and say, I'm going to take a, I, I don't smoke. I don't drink. So <laughs> I'm going to take a break and just worship God. You ever yeah. thought about that? <laughs> I have something I write on uh, on uh, Facebook every day. And, and it's called a scripture break. Uh -huh. Amen. So we take breaks for all kinds of things. But why not take a scripture break? Why not take a break to just say, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can do that. We just got to teach ourselves. We got to train ourselves. You know, yeah. we train ourselves. Uh, we're creatures of habit. Right. So we can do that. Teach ourselves. It's a new year, a new month. I mean, this is the first month. And so... Uh, um, do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a scripture break. I'm going to take a, a God break and yes. just give him thanks. Amen. Amen. So you prepare yourselves to receive. You, He's got something for you. Don't ever say he got nothing for me. He never talks to me. Mm -hmm. And you know, this has been in my heart, my spirit. So I don't know who this is for, but uh, I say, Lord, don't, don't let me forget to say this. I've had so many people tell me this. Oh, I just go to a little church like they are embarrassed or they're ashamed we go to a little church and we have a little church and this is a small church but guess what <laughs> always know even though you're in a small church you have a mighty God yeah. and when you have a mighty God George going to a small church <laughs> it's not disqualifying you you know you could be in a big church but you know the Bible says that he's God on the mountain and God in the valley yes amen, amen. it's the same God you could be in a big church or a small church he's still a mighty God and what you make out of it is you say well praise God I may be in a small church maybe that's what he wants you amen and that's okay but you know what just never forget he is almighty God amen and he's a mighty God small church or big church it doesn't matter He's got you there, so be what he wants you to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I say all that to say this. Grab your Bibles, church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then say it like we mean it. Amen. So grab your Bible. This is mine. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the Lord of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise God. If you don't have one, yes. get one. <laughs> this is first month of the year, and it's time to get you a Bible. And uh, you know, you've been to church so many times that you have to borrow one all the time when you get there. It's time to get your own. <laughs> have your own. So praise God. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but if you ain't happy, get happy. Amen. And we're going to give thanks with a grateful heart. We sang a song this morning. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O Lord. Amen. Sing it unto him. You know, be excited. Bless him. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving. Yes. Amen. I can't tell you that enough. It is a good thing. Another song says, it is a good thing to give thanks Thank unto the Lord. Lord. Always, not just sometimes. I'm going to read you one of my scripture breaks. <laughs> and uh, just listen. Amen. I'm going to give thanks. But I want to give thanks with a grateful heart. Yes. And I want to give thanks with an attitude of gratitude. Amen. I'm going to give thanks and have a winning attitude. Forgetting the past, defeats, setbacks, and the yesterdays. The shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Uh -huh. Today is a new year. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. Uh -huh. So press on, child of God, with a new attitude. With a winning attitude. Uh -huh. 
with a grateful attitude. Amen? Amen. So praise God. And this is our text for <coughs> 2021. Huh. It says Philippians 3, chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. It says, uh -huh. Brethren, I, <laughs> that's you, I do not count myself to have apprehended. Mm -hmm. But one thing I do, yes. forgetting those things which are behind yes. and reaching forward to those things which are Amen. ahead. I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking future. Thank wow. you, Lord, for this day. And thank you for what's coming. Amen. Yes. Pressing ahead. I press towards the goal. I, again, you can yes. scratch the I and put your name on there. Uh -huh. Jose, pressing towards the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. Amen. So this is awesome. Amen. And we're going to do this. Press on with the things of God. You know, I've told you this before, but I'll say it again. The armor of God has everything, protection in front. There's nothing in the back. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're not to turn around and go back. And we're not to quit. We're just to press on. That's it. That's Amen. It. Praise God. You can do it. Here, here we go. This is my next scripture. Is Philippians 4.13. It says, I, again, I uh -huh. can do all things yes. through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. I scratch it, personalize mm -hmm. it, make it you. Yes. Can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So yes. don't ever count yourself weak. You have a strong God. Yes, and he do. says you can have what you say. The truth That's will set you free. So if you get the word in you, you get the truth in you, uh -huh. you're going to step out of faith every day. Yep. Amen. Praise God. So faith in God, guess what? We win. Yes. <laughs> we win. I'm a God's winning team. Are you? Yes. If you have in this town to join, uh -huh. why you go another year? Why waste another year where you could be on God's winning team? You could be on the winning team. Yes. I like, well, I love sports and I like to win, <laughs> but get on God's winning team. Yes. God's winning team never loses. Amen. That's it. So praise the Lord. Uh, Carmen, go to the next one. So beware. Of, this is some things I want to share with you. <laughs> beware of these killers on 2021. Oh boy. <laughs> You probably know some of these. Dream killers. Oh boy. Passion killers. Uh -huh. Mission killers. Oh yes. Motivation killers. Oh boy. Time killers. Vision and goal killers. You get around these people that never want to go anywhere and they want to take you down. Amen. So be be careful. You know, yeah. don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your victory. Yeah. 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 Amen. Instead, bring them into your victory. Bring them into your peace. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Don't let them pull you out. You draw them. Amen. Go to the next one, God. That's a good one. There we go. Don't let someone who gave up on their dream talk you out of yours. Oh, that's right. That's Amen. For sure. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Don't let someone. You, we all know that someone. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're around them all the time. You know? Are you in the news? In the bad news on a oh. daily basis, guess what? They're going to pull you down. They're yes. going to take you down. Yes. Amen. I'm in the gospel. I'm in the good news. Amen. And I'm going to teach you about the good news, not the bad news. Don't let someone who gave up on their dream pop you out of yours. You've got yes. that dream in there. And you know, if you stay focused on God, He's going to, that GPS is going to keep you right on target. Uh -huh. Amen. Right on the right road. Amen. On the right road. Not the bad road. Yeah. And we're going to reach our dream. Amen. Because we can yeah. do all things through him. Yes. Remember this. Okay, next one. Here we go. <laughs> I like this one. I, I gave you some funny. So it's okay to laugh. <laughs> Laughter is good. We're going to be talking about joy. The Lord is your strength. <laughs> beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. That's right. Amen. You beware. You know how you're going to know these things? Uh -huh. Well, you're going to have the word in you. Uh -huh. Amen? And you're going to discern this. Discern this. Amen? Let me see. What else is on? There we go. <laughs> We're going to be talking about this. This is what, maybe next week I'll bring this message. But we're just going to talk about blooming for God. Growing, going, or it's going, grow, growing, glowing, and going for Jesus. Yeah. Every day. Not just, you know, once, once, once in a while. But every day, growing, going, going for Jesus. Amen. Yes. So write that down, and you you put it on uh, on, on, on your paper. You put it on on the, on the write it somewhere, and hang it up 
posted something. You know, the three G's. There you go. Growing, glowing, and going for Jesus. You know what? When you're full of God, you're going to glow. <laughs> yes. Amen. And, and, and God has planted you somewhere. You talk about that little church or the big church. Where will He's planted you? You're going to grow. You're going to mature. You're going to glow. Amen. I mean, it's just going to show on you. People see you and say, something about you. I can't tell, but it's something about you different. Yeah. Why? Yeah. It's the maturity. That's right. It's the spirit, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh -huh. it's, and then going. You know, yeah. just don't stay. When you get full of the word, you got to go somewhere and tell somebody. That's it. You just don't sit. You got to go. Amen. Yeah. He told he, two thirds of God's name is God is go G O. So go. Amen. He told his disciples go into all the world yeah. and where to go. That means you also. <laughs> yes. For you. Jesus. Amen. So hallelujah. We haven't even Praise started you. our message yet. <laughs> That's all right. So giving thanks with a grateful heart. It is a good thing to give thanks unto Him, mm -hmm. being grateful and giving thanks. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, yes. he gave. Yes, he did. He was the first one. He gave his only begotten son. Amen. So who are we to say, well, you know, I don't want to give. I want to hold on. Well, you know what happens when you hold on? Mm -hmm. You don't get nothing. Don't get nothing. Which when you give, it's going to be brought back to you. Amen. Yes. 30, 60, 100 fold. Yes. You know, press down, shaking together and run it over. Mm -hmm. You got to put in the cup, fill your cup to yeah. run it over. Yeah. And you know when it runs over, I want to give it out. I want to yeah. give. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Believers should be giving thanks to him daily. That's verse Thessalonians 5.18. Mm -hmm. With a gratitude, with an attitude of gratitude. Amen. So, gratitude is the best attitude. Yes. If you're going to get an attitude, get a grateful attitude. Amen. Some of us need to change our attitudes. Yes. You know, it's like a flat tire. You know, you can't go anywhere huh. with a flat tire. You can't go anywhere with a bad attitude. That's it. Because you're going to reap what you sow. That's it. Amen. So, you know, change Amen. that change that bad attitude to a positive attitude uh -huh. wherever you go. Amen. Because you're not representing him. Amen. You're not representing him when you when you're going somewhere. You go. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna crash quick. Right. Amen. David changed his attitude uh -huh. when he saw Goliath. He says, hey, "I'm a child of God." You know, hey, greater is He that's in me than He that's in the world. That's he it. didn't quite say that, but you know, he stepped out in faith right. because he knew his God. Yeah. When you know your God, you know you're gonna step out in faith. Yeah. Attitude of attitude. Attitude of gratitude changes <laughs> depression to joy, a frown to a smile. Uh -huh. Gratitude, being grateful, yes. being thankful, yes. being <laughs> appreciative. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Show it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, not only in your words, but your actions. Yes. And show it, you know. Use your hands, use your arms, mm -hmm. get on your knees and say thank you. Amen. Or whatever, you know, with your tears of joy, tears of gratefulness. With your mouth. With your <laughs> mouth, with your words, your actions, oh, you know, yes. you show it. Thank but you. don't hold back, you know. Uh, uh, where is it, Times Square in New York? They have a big celebration for the new year, you know. Mm -hmm. And Christians hide. <laughs> We should be grateful for another year. Thank yes. you, Lord, for another year. You know, every day I receive miracles. Mm -hmm. You know what my mir first miracle of the day is? I open my eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God had me on this wake-up list. <laughs> mm -hmm. You should be happy. Amen. When you know your God, see, you woke me up this morning. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Amen. That's your first miracle. You think you just take it for granted. No, that was a miracle. Because yeah. he didn't have to put you on that wake up list. <laughs> Here's another uh, give thanks to God, Psalms 107 1. Psalms uh, 118 24 says, What? This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. Depends on what translation you read, but uh -huh. it says, We or I will give, uh, will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You know, I don't let the weather, I don't let circumstances, whatever, dictate what kind of day I'm going to have. I'm going to have. Uh, uh, excuse me, what does it say? Uh, re I'm going to rejoice and be glad for this uh -huh. day because he has given me a new yes. day to serve him. 
Amen. So you do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I don't know about you. And we may not get through all this message. It's okay. But it's okay. Open your spirit. Let God come yeah. in and minister to you. Amen. Yes. He wants to do that. Sure. Let every day be a day of giving thanks. Yes. Forget the coronavirus. Forget the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And remember Paul and Silas? Yes. They got beat so bad. <laughs> and the jailer says, you know, <laughs> I'm afraid of they serve a mighty God. He didn't say that. I'm saying that. <laughs> but you see, he, put, he took them way down in the dungeon. Uh -huh. He said, well, well, you see, I want to see what his God's going to do. See if, he, if if the God can reach them this far down. Oh, my gosh. And guess what? <laughs> At the midnight hour, they started uh -huh. singing praise and worship. And they were yeah. silent. They were loud. Yeah. You know, just like them guys on the, what is it, uh, Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> they were loud. And uh -huh. they were singing. And it says the jailers. I mean, the prisoners heard him. Heard him. Mm -hmm. And the jailer did too. And guess what? God heard him. <laughs> yes. And then something came. Earthquake. And yes. every cell door was open. Yes. And the jailer came and knelt and said, you know, he's ready to give his life. Well, he's ready to take his life, you know. Mm -hmm. He said, wait a minute. Don't do that. Nobody's gone. Everybody's yeah. here. And guess what? God is listening. Yes. He's listening. So grateful with a grateful heart. Yes. Psalms uh, 92 and 1 says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord yes, and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Yes. Amen. Thank so you. it is a good thing. Yes. It is a God thing. <laughs> yes. Amen. Give thanks and praise Him for blessing us so abundantly. Yes. The Bible says in John 10 10 says, the thief, the enemy, uh -huh. does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yes. Jesus says, I have come that they might have life, life. and that they might have it more abundantly. More abundantly. What kind of life are you having? Huh. Hmm? Hmm? You should be <laughs> happy. You yeah. should be having a, an abundant life. If you're not, it's time to switch over. Yeah. Get on the winning team. You yes. know, all you have to do is just repent, confess. Mm -hmm. As you confess him as your Lord and Savior and say, yes. Lord, I, I, I repent. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Be yes. my Lord and Savior. And guess what? You're everything's going to change. Yes. And you need to make a change. Yeah. you got to switch partners, you know. Let oh, the world God. go and take on Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, come on now. Yeah. Philippians 4, 6 says, well, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with Thank thanksgiving, yes. let your requests be made known to God. Yes. Yes. If I'm going to request from him, why not do it with a grateful heart? Right. With thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And I'm going to, well, I was talking about Paul and Silas in the dungeon. Mm. <laughs> Guess what? He heard Jonah in the belly of the big fish. <laughs> so I don't care where you are or where you've been. He saw the 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 the, the three Hebrew children uh -huh. in the fire, in the fire. <laughs> and he went and joined them. Yes. So guess what? What he did for them, he'll do for you. Yes, he will. Amen. You just get on the right side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> we should be grateful and thankful, uh -huh. and uh, we 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 read this all the time, but we're going to read it again. Psalms one hundred. Oh, yeah. Amen. A psalm of giving thanks. Uh -huh. It says, make a joyful make a shout joyful. to the Lord, all your lands. All, you all of us. Serve the Lord with sadness. Oh, oh gladness. Oh, gladness. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Serve the Lord with gladness. Some of you need to read that over again yeah. and put a smile instead of a frown. <laughs> <laughs> frown ain't going to attract anybody. Yes, Amen. <laughs> Come before his presence with what? Singing. Singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. That's right. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Amen. He, he's our Lord. He's our yes, pastor. He Amen. Praise God. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates. Lord, we enter into his yes. gates with, with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. praise. Always. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to right. all generations. Amen. 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 If you have never read that, open yes. it up. Fine. You know how you start finding your way through the Bible? Uh -huh. <laughs> open it. Oh. Open it. <laughs> open it. You know, first dust it off, you know, and open yes. it and start going through it. Yes. You know, hey, some of us are real experts in it. Whatever, whatever we are, you know, and your lawyer, I'm sure he's good at uh, yeah. all these 
book of laws that he reads, you know, but guess what? This is the best book you can open yes. read. Amen. Yes. This should be first. He says, seek you first the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. Seek him first. Amen. Open it and read it. Well, I, you know, I have a hard time uh, finding scriptures, reading no, scriptures, no, memorizing no. scriptures. No. Well, it takes time. Uh -huh. Maybe you got to grow. <laughs> you got to mature. And you mature and get off the milk, you know, by maturing and opening your Bible and reading it and growing. Amen. That's how you do it. Next thing. I remember where that's at. Uh -huh. You go through it, you know, yes. and not once a year, you know, but daily, yeah. all the time. <laughs> Believers should rejoice and be glad and give thanks yes. daily. Yes. Not just once in a while. You know right. what? Hey, just when things are good. Uh -huh. When he's God on the mountain, you know, hey, things uh -huh. are great, you know. But when thing, when God on the valley, you know, when you're in them valleys, you know, you just forget about God. Yeah. <laughs> Believers should be the happiest and most joyful people in the earth. Yes. We know the truth. And yeah. the truth to set us free. The truth to create a joy, a smile on your face. Yes. It's saying, oh, hallelujah, you know. Hey, the world's growing to hell. But guess what? <laughs> I'm a child of God. Yeah. I know the truth. And guess what? We win. Yeah. And we're going to spend eternity with him. So why should yeah. I be sad? Don't join the crowd, you know, just because all them, the crowd is, 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 is sad and fussing and, and cussing. <laughs> Don't mean you got to join him. That's I'm right. going to stand by myself over yeah, here. Yeah. But you know what? You're not by yourself. That's right. He's with you. Yes, he is. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to impress yes, them. Yes. I'm not trying to please them. I'm trying to please my God. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. that's a big change. Yes. <laughs> Believers, we are too blessed to be stressed and ungrateful. Right. Come on now. Write that down. You know, yeah. we're too blessed to be Come stressed. On, and ungrateful. Yes. He said, well, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> well, he woke you up this morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> he does all kinds of things for you. And you know, sometimes he tells us to do things, but we don't listen. Uh -huh. He told you to take this route, and you took this route, because uh -huh. this is the way I go all the time. Mm. Well, you know, sometimes <laughs> we make the change. We can flex. We can be flexible. Yes, yes. Amen. And do, if we're listening, and do what he's called us to do. Yeah. He, he yeah. wants to keep you out of danger. If you yeah. want to listen to what he told you to do. Yeah. Take this route and not that route. That's right. But I go this way all the time. But because you said it, I'm going to go this way. Well, good. I'm glad you're listening. Uh -huh. <laughs> Psalms 103, 1 through 5 says, It's a praise to Lord, the Lord of mercies. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. All Let's not forget. He don't forget. We don't want to forget. Yes. He don't leave us. We leave him. Amen. Remember the prophet, son? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, Father's always waiting for you to come home. Yes. It's time, you. some of you <laughs> are watching, some of you listening. It's time for <laughs> you to come home. Yeah. And Father's waiting. He's just waiting for you to say, I repent. Amen. Forgive me. I want to come back home. And you know yes. what he's going to say? Come Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, come. Mm -hmm. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, all sins, who heals all your diseases. Yes. Well, you know what? I've been tested four times already for this uh, virus. And every time it's negative. And you know what I say? Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> who redeemeth our life from destruction. Uh -huh. Your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. Yes. Who satisfies your mouth with good things. Yes. So that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Thank you, Lord. I need more renewing to look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. Give thanks because the Lord forgives all our sins. Because he heals all our diseases. All our diseases. You know, we go around magnifying our disease more yeah. than we magnify our God. That's it. He sacrificed his son. He put yes, stripes he on his back mm -hmm. so that we could be healed. And we go around magnifying the virus, magnifying sickness instead of magnifying yeah. him. Yes. Lord, thank you that by your stripes I'm healed. Uh -huh. Body line up with the word of God. Yes. I receive my healing. It's mine. I'm going to stand on the word. Yes. Amen. Stand on it. Redeemed us from destruction. Saved us from the pit. Yes. <laughs> Some of us are going 100 miles an hour to the pit. We need to yes. stop and say, wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> That's not for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to live in eternity with you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Gives us his loving kindness and mercies. Amen. His 
love and compassion. You know what you can, don't just feel sorry for people. Let the love of God yeah. and his compassion flow through you. Yes. So you can be able to help them. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Gives us plenty of good things to eat. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Renew our health and strength. Our youth is renewed. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is so many good things. So many yeah. good things to be grateful yes. about. Yes, there is. Uh, a few more things to give thanks. Give thanks for his presence in your life. Uh -huh. If you don't sense his presence in your life, you need to get saved. Uh -huh. <laughs> you need to get saved and spend time with him. Amen. People des uh, desert us when we need him. Amen. It shouldn't be that way. You know your friends because your friends are going to be there whether it's good or bad. Uh -huh. or you're going through bad or good. They're going to be there and they're going to be praying for you. Yes, Amen. Yes. And they're going to be there and say, how can I help? Mm -hmm. Can I pray for you? Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord is with us at all times and all situations. The Lord has never left us, but we left him. Mm -hmm. And that's where the prodigal son comes in. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, I'm on my own. I could do this on my own. Mm -hmm. you know. But guess what? <laughs> if you're fighting a spiritual battle, uh -huh. without him, you lose. That's right. And that's what we fight on a daily basis. Yes, a yes. spiritual battle. Spiritual battle. Okay? And uh, if you're fighting it without the word, without Jesus, you lose. We need him. Yes. Amen. With him we win. Without him we lose. Yes. <laughs> I've got a sticker on my bumper that says, it's hell out there without Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, you know, be on, 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 on the winning side and be grateful Amen. about it. Amen. Yes. Listen to this. This sounds familiar. Noah, Moses, Abraham, Gideon, Jonah, Job, David, Joseph, and Jesus. Just a few Bible heroes. And guess what? God never left them. That's right. He helped them. They sinned, but still, well, except Jesus. <laughs> Some of them were not sinless, except Jesus. But he never left them. That's right. He's always there with them. Yes. Amen. And of course, Hebrews 13, 5 and 6 in the New King James says, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such thing as you have. Yeah. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Right. So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? <laughs> Amen. Yes. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He is always with us. Yes. We walk away. We tend to walk away. But you know what? It's just like keep yourself connected to the socket. You know, yes. electricity, if you got something that runs on electricity, you got to uh -huh. keep it connected for it yeah. to run. Yeah. And you unplug it, and guess what? You go yeah. to the pits. Yeah. Your history, you're done, you're finished. Mm -hmm. But you got to stay connected to him daily, always, you know, stay connected yeah. to him. We fight a spiritual battle, mm -hmm. but stay connected to yeah. him. Stay connected to his word. Yeah. Get in his word. Talk to him. Pray, you know, yeah. and stay connected. That's right. That's the best thing you can do. Yes. Second <sighs> Timothy 1 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Second Corinthians 5 7 says, For we believers, we walk by faith, not by sight. That's right. You want to stop walking in fear? No. Get full of the word. Yeah. <laughs> when you get full of the word, fear's got to go. Yes, it does. And when you get full of the word, you're gonna step out in faith. Yes. Have faith in him. Yes. Have faith in Him. Amen. You see our sign over there. It says, we walk by faith, not, not by, by sight. Not by you know? We walk by faith and not by fear. That's right. Amen? And when you're, when you're seeing things <laughs> and things are bigger than God, you're in fear. Yeah. But when you're stepping out in faith, mm -hmm. say, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping out in faith because I know I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen? So you win. Yes. So, uh, Psalms 23, in his presence, there is uh, always, his presence is always with us. He is our Lord and our shepherd. Amen. He is with us. His presence is always with us. Yes. That's what Psalms 23 says. Psalms 91 says, safety, the safety of abiding in the presence of God. It's an awesome, awesome uh, mm -hmm. psalm. Exodus 33 and, uh, uh, 33 and 14 says, the Lord replied, my presence will go with you, uh -huh. and I will give you rest. Yes. 
He goes with us wherever we go. Yes. We need to know these things. Yes. Okay? If you don't know these things, the enemy mm -hmm. can feed you anything. That's right. That's Amen. Right. He can feed you anything mm -hmm. and you'll believe it. Mm -hmm. The world can tell you anything and you'll believe that more than you believe what the word of God says. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So anyway. Woo, we're doing good. <laughs> Give thanks for his protection in our lives. Uh -huh. There are many dangers in the world, and yet God has protected us. Mm -hmm. He, like I said, he's a God on the mountain, yes. and he's God in the valley. Yes. But he's always with us. Mm -hmm. His presence is with us. God's protection has kept us alive so far. Mm -hmm. He is the reason we got this far. Yes. The Lord watches over us to protect us, Psalms 23 and 91. Yeah. These are great psalms to read. Yes. Amen. On a daily basis, just read them. Mm -hmm. The word of God, make time for his word and get it in you. Amen. When you get it in you, it's got to come out. Mm -hmm. Let it out. Amen. Yes. So praise God. It's a spoken word. <laughs> the enemy is afraid of. Okay. If you don't speak it out, he ain't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can have your Bible sitting next to you and you don't mm -hmm. speak nothing, you know. But when you speak the word, yes. he's got to go. He says, submit yeah. yourself to God. Resist the devil. And, and he will flee. flee. I said, wait a minute. You ain't going to stand by here. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to hang out with me. That's it. I resist you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. He's got to go. Yeah. Remember the dangerous situation, dangerous situations we have faced in the past and how God protected us. Be grateful and thankful. And we all have gone through this. We all have different mm -hmm. uh, testimonies. Yes. And what God has brought us to through. Yes. And that's why it's so important, you know. Patricia's gonna get up here one day and uh, Pastor Pat in there and and uh, give her testimony. Mm -hmm. How God saw her through. We almost lost her. She was gone. But your prayers, thank you for your prayers. Your prayers brought her back. Amen. So God said, I'm not finished. I'm not finished with her yet. Amen. So praise God. Proverbs 3.26 says, You can trust the Lord to protect us. He will not let you fall into harm. When you're a child of God, you know, you can count on Him. I mean, that's better than fire insurance <laughs> this that's that's the best of fire insurance you can have because you ain't going to pit of hell uh -huh. you're going to heaven amen uh -huh. thank you lord thank you lord psalms uh, 91 3 and 4 says for god saved you from hidden dangers mm -hmm. and from deadly diseases you can go to him to uh, for for protection mm -hmm. he will cover you like a bird spread its wings over its babies you can trust him to surround and protect you like a shield and that's what he does amen praise god thank you lord i think we're gonna stop here mm -hmm. amen i'm gonna read you this last one and uh and then we're gonna close here psalms 21 excuse me psalms 121 3 through 8 says we will not let you fall your protector will not fall asleep israel's protector does not get tired uh -huh. he never sleeps the Lord is our protector. The Lord stands by your side, shading and protecting you. The sun cannot uh, harm you during the day, and the moon cannot harm you at night. Mm -hmm. The Lord will protect you from every danger. He will protect your soul. The Lord will protect you as you come and go, both now and forever. Amen. This is what the Word of God says, and we can stand on what the Word of God says. Yes. Because it says the truth is going to set you free from all the mindsets. From all the traditions, you know, from all the things that, you know, that, that, that you've heard before. Is it in the Bible? No. Then let your traditions go. Let your bad habits, let your mindsets go. And stand on what the Word of God says. And sometimes you might be all alone. But God is with you. I'm going to stand on the truth. Not on what so-and-so said. Or not on traditions or bad habits or, or, or mindsets. I'm going to stand on what the Word of God says. Yes. And sometimes you may be all alone, mm -hmm. but God is with you. Yes, He is. Thank you, Amen. So we're gonna we're gonna stop there, and uh, we're gonna continue next week. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Some of you are listening, and you never accepted Christ. This is the first time this year. Amen. And it's time you've heard it enough. It's mm -hmm. time to just say, Lord, <laughs> surrender to Him. Yes. Last week, I think the last time I, I spoke, I spoke on surrendering. Mm -hmm. We need to surrender to Him. Yeah. On a daily basis, just surrender to Him and say, <laughs> if you have never surrendered to Him, you know, you never gave your life to Him, now's the time to just say, 
Lord, I, I repent. I've sinned against you. I repent. Mm -hmm. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have that opportunity. Don't ever say one day you stand before him and you say, well, I never had the opportunity or I never confessed when I had the time to do it. Now's your time. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not speaking to somebody, you know, mm -hmm. you're listening or you're watching me, but it's time for you to make that turn around. Mm -hmm. We're trying to please the world. We're trying to please friends. And it's time you make that change and follow Christ and not yes. man. Amen. So praise yeah. God. You need healing in your body? Just like Patricia, we touched her, we prayed for her, you know, and God brought her back. God healed her, amen, and still healing her, amen. But I was, I was thinking about the, the ten lepers, mm. you know, and God, Jesus healed them. He said, go show yourself to the priest. Mm -hmm. And they all ran. One of them came back, and he gave thanks. Nil gave thanks, and he was restored. Amen. So I was thinking about that. I said, not only is Patricia healed, she is restored. Well, they said, uh, whatever, whatever the doctor says, <laughs> he says some things about being damaged. I said, well, she's restored. And you know, leprosy, parts of your body, uh, just right away. Oh. But he, the man was healed and restored. Mm -hmm. Maybe those things grew back. I don't know, but he was restored. So her heart is restored, her lungs are restored. Whatever they said is, is damaged and can't be uh, healed anymore, or to, you know, whatever the problem. Still, she be healed and restored in Jesus' name, amen. amen. And you watching, you that are listening, whatever your situation may be, God, gee, well, God is, <laughs> Jesus has already healed you. All you have to do is receive it. I receive my healing. Body, line up with the Word of God and be healed. Receive that healing now. In Jesus' name, you touch that part of your body, it needs to be healed. Amen? If it's an inside thing, just put your head on where, wherever this area is at. But receive your healing. Amen? Amen? You have to receive it. And you have to believe it. Because the Word of God says it. He said, by Jesus Christ, you were healed. Yeah. Amen. So speak it and believe it. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this precious word that you have given us, Lord. Let us apply it to your life, Lord. Let us be uh, hearers and doers of your word. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Before we go, we're going to give you a time to give. If you're watching, listening, you would like to give your tithe and our offerings, you can still can. And you see the screen up here. If you're listening, just go to our website, NBC, Big Ben. Dot com and hit that donate button. Uh, if you mail in the NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. And we wanted to say thank you and God bless you and thank you for your prayers. We love you and we appreciate you. Amen.